Hello everybody, welcome. Renzo here. Okay, as usually, I'm gonna just uh, paint a new portrait today. Oh, hello Mohamed, hello Kerry, uh, Vixi. Thank you so much for becoming a member of my channel. Really appreciate it. Hello Jonas, hello Mark, hello Ben, hello Michael. Okay, you will know that the photograph, the link to the photograph is on the description box. Okay, I'm gonna mention the colors I got here. I got a uh, titanium white, a yellow, a Naples yellow deep, a vivid rose, kinocodon rose, burnt sienna, emerald green, cobalt blue, and ivory black. Okay, I uh, use a bristle brushes, you see these ones here, and I use soft synthetic brushes for blending, okay, I'm gonna pick up this one, this one is number seven, and let's start just painting some darker values, I'm squinting down my eyes, I'm gonna mix burnt sienna with cover blue okay let's see I usually don't, don't use any medium uh, sometimes I just linseed oil when I want to paint the background or a bigger area on my canvas a bit faster See, I just squinted on my eyes and I see so clearly, you know, we see the hair. I'm trying to, trying to kind of use it to block all the contour of the face, like I am framing the face with the hair. Okay. Let's see. Even though that I don't have like anything, uh, I step back a bit and I compare. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna go with shadows. I'm squinting down my eyes, you know, and I always try to I try to simplify. And I see the face, I see the shadow side of the face, like around here, the nose and all this. And I see it, uh, what we can call the local color, just one mid-tone, and I see lights. We see on the photograph of that, you know, light on the cheekbone, on the forehead. Okay, and so on, uh, with that, obviously some highlights. Okay, I'm gonna paint darker value first. A little more burnt sienna. Then I keep my eyes squinted as I just add in this value. If the light is coming obviously from the left in this case, I know that this plane of the face is gonna be in shadow the same way I know this plane of the face here is gonna be in shadow, okay? Hello, hello Mohamed, hello Monique, hello Pili, hello Terry, hello Marius, hello Abdallah, okay. Next thing I'm gonna do after just having to get a bit of the shadows here, I go 
and I draw the overall shape and I start measuring. Okay, I always do this, even uh, sometimes I don't see like uh, the proportion, but I need to check out always this. Okay, I use the eyebrows, okay, and the base of the nose and the base of the chin. And usually this distance is the same as this one. This is uh, from the Loomis method. Okay. Now, to place the eyes, we usually split this in three portions and we sit, sit the eyes on top of this line. Now, I'm pretty sure that's not going to happen today. I see a lot of distance between the eyebrows and the eyes. That means that this distance that is here is going to push the eyes down and maybe here. Yeah, I think something like that. Okay, I keep squinting down my eyes. It's easy to copy when I'm doing this and you, as you see, you'll see that I don't have any detail. Then there's no purpose for me to open my eyes and check out the shape of the eye thinking about the line that I see here on the upper eyelid. No, you know, I prefer to keep my eyes squinted and just have the photograph pre blurry and copy that. Okay. And what I, I like, uh, what I see here. Yep, that's good. I'm just using burnt sienna and cobble blue. make it darker here on the background obviously lighter here and we can see the photograph I, 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 I like I like the colors but I think that I, I should add more a little bit of contrast I can make it like kind of you know grayish uh, knockdown colors but I don't know uh, maybe I still I, I have the influence from the last painted painting that I painted the, you know, a week, a week ago, and I have this painting just here, and just seeing the painting now, and I I just painted the background green, and I like it, you know. I think maybe it's gonna be a nice color for this painting too. Uh, keeping maybe um, the same color here, and here greenish and greenish. Okay, another thing that's gonna be about the values on the background, maybe, Making this darker, it's gonna fade this. Darker here, it's gonna do the same. Light here, it's gonna create contrast. And a sharp edge here. Okay, that's gonna be good. A sharp edge here and a sharp edge here. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's gonna be good. Now, in this area, a little bit colorful here and knock down, kind of grayish. Not darker, but grayish. Okay, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna paint a little bit of this. What I'm thinking, a little bit of this green. Well, okay, a little bit of white. Let's say that's gonna be an accent, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a sharp edge here. Okay, another accent here. Just this emerald green and white. Okay. I like it, yeah? Hmm. I like it. Now, uh, sometimes I decide to make some changes, like changing the color, like the hair. I don't know why. I, since I'm painting this green, I was thinking, what about if I paint the hair red? Uh, too much contrast, maybe too much color. Sometimes too much color kind of, uh, you know, 
like take all the attention from the face and this is a portrait okay we love color but yeah maybe for some for some painting it works but this painting i don't think yeah or maybe you can just add green and keep it like with the same harmony you know green for the background green green for the for the hair you know we can create harmony just using the same colors one darker and one lighter we can create harmony using opposite colors okay opposite colors like blue and orange or uh, opposite colors uh, and opposite in values at the same time or pretty close in values imagine the blue and orange you light up both that would be a nice harmony a light orange color a light blue knock down light blue color Hello Gary, uh, hello Nikki, hello Sylvia. Hello Ursula, hello Astri, hello Anne, or Anne, sorry. I mean, you will know, feel free to ask me any question. Okay, uh, now when I'm thinking about the hair, for example, uh, I didn't even did too much to the face, but I was thinking about this. It's, it's because uh, it was to say that this is about composition, okay? When it's about composition, you think about the whole painting. And you think about ages, you think about everything. Even, even You can even think about that from the very beginning, you know, and and that's what I, I said at some point, like, I want to have a sharp edge here. Okay. And a sharp edge here. Okay. Now, obviously, here is soft. Soft. Yeah. Okay, now let's move. Let's continue paint, working on... on on the face because uh, another thing that I'm not so sure about the the colors here yeah but definitely uh, I'm more happy adding changing a little bit on, on the colors you know I'm not saying that the photograph is boring is be is beautiful but sometimes you know we need just a bit of color okay I'm gonna paint a mid-tone I got here burnt sienna I'm gonna knock it down with emerald green little bit of white and this is gonna be a mid this is gonna be a mid tone how dark is that it's too dark copy I mean for drawing let's say I always try to simplify what I see when I paint in this area I don't know if you can see it's kind of for me drawing a triangle because that's what I see you know a triangular shape and that's what I'm trying to copy paint you know that we gotta be we gotta be careful because uh, the first stage we're not so sure about the colors we gotta just uh, I need some kind of, let's say some room, room to be able to change any color hello Sharon oh Gary saying that was the that was the background color of your last portrait yeah, yeah, I was, I was saying that 
maybe I got influenced by that because I got the portrait to my right. I just I saw it like a minute. Uh, as soon as I, I started the live stream, I saw the portrait and said, wow, I love the green. Eh? Eh. Hello, uh, Amelie. Amelie. Hello, my chair. Hello, Becky. Thank you. Oh, Becky. Hello, Kenny. And add more burnt sienna and light up a bit more of this color. Squinting, squinting my eyes and uh, comparing. Okay, yeah, I like it. Uh, I think I need to make a difference with the background. I just take, take a decision right now about the value on the background because this value, this value, are pretty close. And I think I'm gonna need a darker background in order to make the face just pop forward the whole face with more light okay now I'm not doing I'm not gonna do anything yet I'm gonna paint it I just sharing a thought because uh, I squinted down my eyes and kind of everything is fading away uh, the only contrast I see is because of this here shadow okay the, because of the hair sorry I'm gonna add a uh, highlight the lights on the face I'm just mixing cup of blue and white. This is not gonna be the final color. I just uh, painting a cool light. Okay. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, Eli Jadili for the starts. Thank you so much. Yep. Hello, Javier. Hello. Okay. Let's see. Light, light, light. I see it, I see too bluish, but it's just the beginning. I know, I know, you know, that I know that as I continue adding more paint, more paint, and and blending a little bit, usually all the, the colors that we apply at, at the very beginning, they kind of fade, fade away a little bit with the other colors. So mixture is happening because we, when we blend, we basically move the paint. You know, in the same way, that if I put this color on top of this one, look at this, and I do this a little bit, you know, I could be mixing, 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 and all of a sudden, just I got a new color here, which is, you know, it's not closer to this one. Look at that. Okay. And that happens on the face. That happens when we work weight on weight. Okay. Now I need some orange. I don't have orange today. I'm gonna make mix this napalm yellow dip with this vivid rose. Let's see if I can get some orange color. I'm gonna add a little bit of canocrino rose. Naples, Naples yellow is just 
kind of, you know, you need to add a lot in order to see a bit of yellow. It's kind of weak, it's a weak color. A weak pigment. And it's not because uh, using, uh, you know, cheap brand, this Naples yellow is Rembrandt. You know, it's just the color, just like that. Thinking, just thinking. Okay. I'm gonna add more. Uh, yeah, I think that's okay. Let's see. Yeah. Yep. Now I got obviously more color on the painting. I compare and I gotta be able to see if what I'm missing. You know, maybe I need to. Darken up more the skin color, light up, more color, less color, you know. I think it's pretty clear that my skin color is lighter than the photograph. It's not like every time that I try to match the color that I'm painting. I'm trying to get closer. Okay. But no way that I'm gonna be so worried about the color it's, it's like just a good closer with the color that's good enough just but it, you know we got, we got a lot to do a lot to think when uh, it's about values and you know ages and all of that and the drawing and the likeness okay let's see about the shadow here mm, i like this kind of transparent shadow but it's not the same value I'm mixing black and burnt sienna, a touch of white to make a little bit of pink. Wow, that's too much black. I added too much black. I'm gonna just uh, clean the brush and I add more paint here. More, more burnt sienna and white. Okay, I like it. That's, that's too light but you see that's not that transparent yeah let's think about this we want uh, transparency on the shadows but it's not the case for every painting but you know transparent shadows are always beautiful okay in this case it's transparent shadow is this obviously even if I clean it a little bit, I'm gonna have a really, really transparent shadow here. Okay, I did this because I wanted, I wanted to see the, the, the color. I wanted to see maybe if I can do that, if I take advantage of that, and even add some accent here on the on, on, on the on the shadow like just by wiping off this I got some transparent color there um not so sure not so sure it's gonna be it's gonna be just for 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 me anyway let's continue painting
okay it's too dark but i think that i need to darken up the skin a little bit oh hello cesarte hello ashton Uh, hello Mohamed, uh, Eli saying, could you please talk about your palette? Maybe I missed it at the beginning, thank you. Yeah, of course. Okay, I uh, got here the first color is titanium white. Yeah, I got this yellow, uh, Naples yellow dip, vivid rose, okay, kinocridone rose, a burnt sienna, Emerald green, cobalt blue, and ivory black. The last one is ivory black. I got the, the, these colors from different brands. This one is Rembrandt, Rembrandt, uh, Rembrandt. This is Winton, Winton, and Winton. And this one is the only one that's Pibio, Vivid Rose. I like it, I like that color. I like it more for, for, for glazing. But you know, I got this tube of Vivid Rose for, what's this here? Maybe for more than a year. Look at the stage of this tube. For more than a year, it's, and yeah, look at that. I gotta use it. I was thinking I gotta use this, you know. It's gonna stay here like forever. Okay. okay. Now I need uh, black for the hair. Okay, I, I wanna just establish a, a value here, and an age. Sorry. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm just thinking, you know, I need to make the face pop. Yeah, that's for sure. I'm gonna knock down the background here to get this value lighter. Okay, I need just pure black. And this definitely is gonna make the face pop on this area. Yeah? Okay. And now, here too okay, sometimes it works pretty good when we have an edge like this from top to bottom I'm not painting the ear right now I gotta just wipe off this sometimes it works okay when we got enough softness on the painting some sharp edges works work pretty good not all the time, sometimes, in this case, I wanted to see then, I wanted to see this uh, edge here, not this edge here, and I'm gonna think, I'm gonna leave it like that, you know, because I'm not so sure yet, maybe I'm not gonna paint the ear. It's more black. the light it's pretty annoying I don't like to see this you know look at the, the uh, add more black okay the this value and this value is the same it's just black just black here it looks darker here it doesn't look that dark and it's pretty annoying when I'm not able to see a real value it's like you're painting painting some white and you don't see white you see grayish the same with black. I don't like it. Let me, let me, let me do something. I, I'm gonna turn off one of my lights. Let's see if that helps. No. Got that.
Uh, let's see. Let's continue. I'm going to use uh, this round brush. And it's not pretty pointy, but it's what I want this for drawing. I mean, what I mean by drawing is, uh, for example, for the eyebrow. Look at the eyebrow. Look, my eyebrow here. Not even close. You know, the eyebrow is more like this. Now the other eyebrow. Same. Okay. Now one eye. I'm gonna choose. I'm gonna pick up another brush. One eye. The other eye, I want to move this eye a little bit up. There. Okay, what about the nose? Let's see. see some comments okay hello area uh, Jonas when you are painting dark skin would you probably change accordingly like choosing more darker colors like burnt sienna no no I could use this you could use any palette hello hips hello Chris it, no no it, you know it doesn't change I, I today I have different colors just because I was about to paint you know, I saw this couple of tubes that I never used. You say, know, so I'm gonna use this one. You know, let's see what happens. But it doesn't have to do anything with um, if, uh, the skin color. Okay. Oh, hola, Arte de la Verno. Okay. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello, Karima. Hola, Sandro. ¿Utilizas algún medio en la pintura? Uh, no, solamente la pintura directamente. Yeah, I got a question here about using me a medium. No, I'm just using oil paint directly. Hello, Tina. You're welcome. Mm. Mixing burnt sienna and vivid rose. What happens if I got a more saturated brown? Little bit of kinocridon rose. Let's paint the mouth. I keep squinting. I'm just trying uh, to copy form, form, not not lines. Okay, not the tears. And for copy form, what we need is just values. Okay. 
little bit of white and Naples yellow. Let's work on the eyes, the white of the eyes, which is no white, obviously. Usually for that color, we can just mix gray, black and white, and add a little bit of the skin color. And, and then just, you know, make it darker or lighter, depending, you know, if you see it, there's it, the white of the eye is clear, it's getting a lot of light, then you make the color darker or lighter or, or vice versa. Hola, Homero. Hello, Thierry. Hello, Stuart. Thank you. Hello, Georgina. And Gary saying, I saw a video where the artist initially applied the paint colors, then removed the paint with small squeegees to articulate the entire painting very different yeah yeah I could say that there's they say so many ways to not a lot of ways but different ways to apply the paint but at the end the principle or the rules or what we all follow are this is the same always okay uh, it's gonna be about the drawing okay proportions obviously uh, about values it doesn't matter if you start with lines or, or values or like uh, with a mess. At the end, we gotta pay attention always to values and we gotta see the values. If we see a face that a portrait and you see the face, it look rounded and you see volume, that means that the painter has been paying attention to that, you know. Okay. I'm gonna blend a little bit. This is a synthetic round brush. Obviously, look at that stage. It's not. It's not new. Don't throw away your your brushes. Maybe you're gonna need some of them. Quentin, I need a darker value here in this area. Now as I'm painting this, uh, I, I was I, I remember that I was preparing the color for painting the white of the eye and I forget to do it. Okay. Another darker value here.
lighter value here. I use the same brush that I'm using for blending to, to paint too, you know, it's a brush. It's sometimes I use it for for to apply paint, but usually when I when I make a I wanna just change something just just a bit. Something subtle. For example here, I don't add too much paint. Look at that. And I see that the value is darker here. And I do that, okay. A little bit of vivid rose here. Now I, I see the lights that don't, they are not shiny anymore. I gotta paint the lights again. Yeah, the, light, the highlights. Okay. Mm -hmm. I hate the glare. So difficult to see values when we have a lot of glare. Darken up the background. Uh, let's see, you know, I was thinking uh, maybe I can add a little bit of red or a little bit of this pink here. Keep both, you know, the screen with. Um, the green and the pink. I don't know yet. Let's first I wanna make this portion dark. be a good idea you know or maybe a little bit of green just to see the the head okay I got this sharp edge here sharp edge here this is gonna fade away or maybe you can add something here okay yeah I mean let's see
Hey, you know what? Uh, I can maybe even outline. I, I I have seen this in somebody's painting. Oh no. You know we got inspiration from here and there. What do you think about this? I can out outline even the hair with this greenish color. What do you think? What about the pink? I don't like the pink, but let's see, you know, it's not like I'm, I'm, I don't like it, I'm gonna just get rid of the pink. No, no. Hello, uh, thank you, Gracias Rosa. Thank you, Samantha Brown, for the stars. Thank you so much. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what? I think it's just too much color, maybe. I'm gonna knock it down. I can knock down the green here and here and put some accents like here. Okay, what about that? I'm gonna continue painting on the face because uh, basically I'm experimenting with this. I have seen this, this is kind of common some some painters they just to outline. It works pretty good. Could work on my painting too, but I'm not so sure yet. Okay, I'm thinking for example, in order to make this edge work like that like really sharp uh, uh, I was thinking you know let's keep it that what I'm gonna do I was thinking to myself you know hey let's make the eye pre pre blurry you know like gone like just values a little bit of values let's push it let's see if that works Because there's gonna be contrast between something blurry and something sharp. Okay, the same contrast that we I got on the nose. Now, I'm sharing that thought. I'm not saying they're gonna keep that because uh, having this so blurry at the same time is gonna affect, you know, uh, how it look. Uh, it's gonna affect the likeness, and and I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. You know. I thought about that, I kind of like the idea, but one thing is an idea, and another thing is when you see it on the canvas. And you know, in trying to imagine things for a painting, like trying to imagine the out outcome, or how it's gonna happen if you add this color, or visualize it, it's, I mean, for me it's pretty difficult. I have, I have heard some painters saying that they kind of try to visualize, imagine how the painting is going to look at the end. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it means that's possible, but for me personally, I oh know I need to see it, I need to see it, and then I see if that works, and then I continue or, or change it. I have an idea, obviously, if I say, hey, we're well, going to paint the, the background red. I can imagine that. That's pretty difficult to imagine. Pretty easy to imagine, sorry. Yeah. It's pretty easy, you know. Now, the, the thing is, imagine how does that red is going to affect the skin color and all the other colors, that's kind of tricky. Yeah. 
that's the thing that's tricky. And yeah, that's the thing that when we don't know what's gonna happen. We know color theory. We know if we paint the color of let's say that following that example, if I paint the background red, just red, pure red, I know that all the green here is gonna glow. I know the greens on the skin are gonna glow. I know that that's 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 in the book about color theory. Okay. But imagine how much does the does the thing. We need to darken up here. Darken up and knock down the, this color. Soften this edge. Okay, I'm thinking that I'm gonna keep it sharp, soft, and on the eye, sharp here. Uh, Nikki saying, I think you should paint her pearls on her shoulder. Oh, wow, that's too much work. <laughs> uh, too much work. Uh, uh. Hello, Olga. Thank you. Astri, oh, thank you. Thank you, Mohammed. Okay. <laughs> Nikki saying, I enjoy when you experiment. Oh, yeah, yeah, I enjoy too. I think I'm gonna keep this green here. Okay. I mean, I'm not gonna say that the painting is like full of originality because of those things, but definitely, you know, add something different. You know, I like it. Oh, I was working on the, on the eye. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Here's my brush. Keeping this soft. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Touch of red.
now with the other eye. Mixing black and cannot create on rose. Cannot create on rose is pretty close to a lizard and crimson. 99% close. Okay, I'm gonna add a sharp edge here and a sharp edge here. of the eye. And a highlight here, around here. Yep. And the other eye, I don't see a highlight, but I'm gonna add a highlight here. Okay, this, I'm going to paint the highlights again. I have a brush for to apply the, the lights and highlights. This one, this bristle brush. I like it, look at the shape of the hair. I think it's too much light. Mm. Oh, that's okay. Okay, 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 okay. Hello, Arby. Hello, Jolene. Jolene's Artful Life. Thank you. Thank you, Anne McKinley. McKinley. Okay, let's continue adding these lights here. I like I like this brush because 
and with this brush I'm not, a I'm not able to lay down a perfect brush stroke you know it's because of the shape of look at this and I want that it could be kind of tricky for smaller areas but here for example you know I got a little bit of of a texture that kind of looks kind of the, the skin you know and I lay down more paint and I blend a little bit I'm gonna zoom in to show you all okay I don't know if that's easy to see Okay. When I blend, I gotta do it. Just look at this. What I'm, I'm not pressing the brush. Basically, just the tip of the brush. For the highlight on the nose, yeah, maybe for that I, I'm gonna need to use a different brush. Pointy one. This one. This one is gonna work. For this highlight and I added this highlight with a little bit of green and white and now a little bit of Naples yellow and white you know if I add this highlight with this brush for example what I'm gonna get is more like a perfect brush stroke and then uh, I, what I could do is blend it Obviously, if one day I want to smooth out the surface a lot, I would do this. I wouldn't use this one, but you know, I like the texture of the on this one. Now you get a brush like this just buying a really cheap, cheap brush, and in no time it's gonna get this shape. All of them is moving to to this shape. It's because they are pre shape, you know. I'm not recommending any brush. I remember I don't, uh, the only brushes I recommend are the ones that I got on the description the description box. I got a link to Amazon. And it does for soft uh, synthetic brushes. I'm not using the same brushes, but I have used them. And what happens is, from time to time, I change. You know, from one some brushes to another brush, different different brushes. But I gotta say, the synthetic brushes are kind of all the same. Different brands, different hair, different color but it's kind of the same you know I, I i don't notice any difference uh but uh, i'm not saying that there's not a difference maybe i'm not paying enough attention to that uh, but what i'm saying is you know i don't i don't see something that is gonna just make me change from this brush to a different one because it's just no no you know for the color of the, 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 the hair or anything, no. Okay, let's work on the nose. Not strong. A sharp edge here, definitely. Sharp, sharp edge here too. That's gonna make the nose pop. I'm gonna blend it. Here, for example, I need soft brushes.
Okay. Now let's see here here the filter. The shadow. Okay, uh, the mouth, I need black and kind of green rose like this, pretty dark. Okay. More kind of green rose for this corner. I want this corner to look more reddish and this one darker. What do you think about this green edge there? In order to see that, I think I'm gonna darken up the background here. But you know, I love the orangey color just showing through. Mm. Okay. do there you know I want to make it darker to see this you know glowing but at the same time I'm thinking that it's gonna if I make it darker you know this color that I have here that's a combination between transparency you know and opaque value on top I like this I don't know if it, you know, maybe that's not that important. You know, if I get rid of this area, who's who's paying attention to this? <laughs> yeah. Now, if I make this darker, this green is gonna glow, and maybe it's gonna glow too much. Uh, and at the end, I'm, I'm not gonna have my uh, transparent background, and I'm not gonna have the green because if I glow too much. To the point that it's gonna drive the tension to that area maybe I'm gonna end up just you know knocking down knocking down the the green I'm thinking ahead of what could happen okay. but I'm gonna wait it's too early to take a decision about background okay oh now that I see you know green red red I was thinking I can add even more red here okay. kind of keep reddish here and greenish up here yeah. okay I gotta think about edges okay uh, I see a sharp edge here, I've seen the photograph. Okay, I like it. My God, it doesn't matter how uh, the direction of my brush stroke, I always see it clear. Okay, I keep this, let's say this sharp edge. Yeah. Uh, you know, we need to balance always sharp edges with soft edges. And in order to have balance, is like 
we need like maybe 80% of soft edges and just 20% of sharp edges. I'd love to know if somebody's painting with me or drawing. You all know that the videos stay here on YouTube and Facebook. You can just watch them anytime. And on Patreon too. Yeah, the link is on Patreon, on my Patreon. See the green around the, the head. Oh, Kenny Kennedy saying loving the green brain, so thank you. Hello Fabiola saying hi from Venice. Thank you, Ka Kati. Hello Cheryl. Okay. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna pick your screen. Let's see the green here. Okay, how much of this? I'll stop there. Then I continue here. Up there, continue here. Mm, I don't like it. Okay, uh, let's see here. Maybe I should break this here. What about the ear? I think I should paint the ear. I don't want to. <laughs> okay, but no, no, not just for saying that I don't want to. I need the ear. I mean, obviously, the, when I copy the portrait. Eh? But I think I still like this sharp edge here. And the ears kind of break up this sharp edge. Okay, and that's the thing that just because of that, I decided not to paint the ear, but I can change my mind. I mean, I'm not saying that's gonna be like, yeah, because of that, the portrait is gonna look much better. It's just, so it's just details, you know, or just details. Uh, the, at the end, the portrait, I think, is just uh, it's everything, you know. It's not just one area. 
it's the balance between everything drawing edges values color all of, all of that working together and when we miss something that's when sometimes things looks off obviously if we miss uh we, or we have mistakes on on values we're not gonna get volume uh, and at the same time color maybe it's not gonna look okay if the values are off and uh, speaking about edges the edges are not gonna do anything if values and color is not good it's like one work on top of the other See if we can add an accent here. Oops, that's too bright. this pink but I like it just like uh, just like I'm doing this just kind of there you know in combination with this green Think about the green around the head. Okay, let's go back to that. I'm gonna just soften this a little bit. I'm gonna break it here. Yeah, maybe I don't need this here. Yeah, I think that's better. Yeah, I think it's, it's it's more for this just this side of the the, the head. more sharp edge here the muscle sternocleidomastoid trapezius Soften this edge, the corner of the mouth. I'm gonna make it blurry, pretty lost. Okay. 
Oh, hello, normal life, same beautiful painting. Can you show your setup, please? Where do you put your camera? Oh, yeah. One of these days, one of these days. I cannot do it now, obviously, <laughs> you know. What do you think about this, you know, especially about, I like it, but I, I got, you know, it's like when I step back, I, I see this, 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 all of them, maybe I should knock down, maybe, maybe, I don't want to do it now, I'm just thinking about that, maybe I should not, should knock down the color, the green, but I gotta wait, you know, I still need to work a little bit more, I need some, to add more highlights, more color on the highlights on the face. Okay, light blue. More the highlight. A little bit for this pink, for a little white. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. well, Nikki saying I love the boldness of green on, on her right. Okay, okay, okay. Looks like everybody loves the green. Uh, thank you, Sylvia. Farid is saying, great work, I really like the green. Mario saying, please don't keep the green. <laughs> okay. Uh, hello, Arami Reciapil. Hello. Oh, Nikki saying we want you keep you to keep the green, the spring green. We have 
We're going to drop winter days up here in the north. Need green. <laughs> uh, let's keep the green. The thing is that, you know, I, I think I, can, I kind of want to add some more contrast. That's the thing. Sometimes, uh, you know, when I think about contrast, I always think about the opposite color on the color wheel, green, red, okay? I think about light, shadow, I think about warm, cool, I think about sharp, soft. All of those things are contrast. I think about softness or smooth out one area of the painting and add thicker paint in another side of the, you know, another area of the painting. That's contrast. All of that is contrast. And right now, I got in my head the idea about adding a touch of red. You know, um, one part of me is saying, don't do it. You know, there's no need to add that much. But maybe a touch up, a small portion could do the work. I don't know. Maybe the mouth is just, just make it a little bit redder. That's going to be enough. Oh, you know, who knows? Okay, uh, and while I think about that, I think about color harmony, I gotta keep an eye on my drawing. We gotta, we all gotta do that, obviously, because when we add more and more paint, at some point, sometimes we lose the drawing. And then we lose the drawing, we don't care about anything more than, you know, we don't think about ages, color, contrast, nothing. We're just so worried about fixing the drawing. That's why uh, we gotta measure, we gotta compare, take a picture, flip it, use a mirror, any tool, every tool that's out there is useful. Okay, and I consider a proportional divider a really nice tool for measuring. Okay. And I uh, know, you know, anything that keeps the drawing, keep, keeps the features in place, is pretty useful. In that way, we can just relax and work, you know, on, on, on values, color, and ages. Okay, I'm gonna add a touch of this, maybe rose. a touch okay if I get really close I will see the touch there you see the touch you see a touch of pink here too okay. you see a touch of light blue here too okay we, 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 we need we need color one way to add color is a uh, kind of just replace uh, some some color keeping always you know an eye on, on, on the values sometimes when we add color we end up changing the value okay just keeping keep in mind that what is light is light what is shadow is shadow and they're not gonna change that it doesn't matter how much color you add you're not gonna change that okay keep an eye on that because that happens Sometimes we want to add more color to the cheeks, more red. And let's say we go to the shadow area and we add a light, a kind of a pink. We blend it and when we do that, we basically, we lighten up the color. We lighten up the color and the result is just a change on the value. And when we change values, we're starting to lose uh, volume. It means that the face it doesn't look rounded anymore. It's starting to look a little bit flat, slowly, more and more flat. Okay. And if the values move, color is moving too. We gotta keep an eye always on that. Uh, the, the best way, for example, that I have 
I mean, in my case, I just keep always an eye on, on values and just try to respect. For, for example, speaking about uh, when I teach, I, I try to, I love to establish kind of a map, a value map, where we can see clearly light, mid-tones, and shadows. Okay, and work on top of that. And always keep in mind, we can change all the color we want, but we we're not gonna change the values. Okay. Pick up some black, black. <laughs> Trying to be careful, careful here about adding the terrace in order to make uh, I you know work all this green with a sharp edge sharp edge sharp edges here and there I gotta keep a lot of soft edges and if I start adding details here and there more and more details I start to lose soft edges so softness of the face That means that we need to simplify. We need to skip on the tears. Try not to paint all of them. And if I paint some the tears, I try to to smooth them out. Like uh, not not because trying to smooth the of the brush stroke, it's because I want to make it soft. Highlights, more highlights. Here the hair is lighter, it's darker on the photograph, and if I want contrast, I should I should paint the background darker here to see this lighter. You know, if I do that, obviously it's kind of I'm gonna I would move this edge and it's gonna continue here. Okay, I don't want that. I want this kind of fading, and that way this kind of goes go up 
in frame the face okay it's gonna be if I make this darker because I want to make this glow it's gonna create another path or road you know where my eyes are gonna continue just seeing here's gonna kind of different because it kind of stays the movement here with with this portion of the head the face Uh, that's composition, you know, when you uh, think what you see and how, what the, the viewer's eye, you know, in, in this case you, you are, are going to just move on the painting, on the surface, and how they're going to kind of just move the eyes. You know, that's the danger, for example, about this, because it's pretty easy, just, everybody's just seeing this, you know. Okay. How, it's beautiful, you know, let's say that I like it. How much of this is distracting everybody from the face? Now at the same time, I gotta say how much of this is giving me opportunity to add more color because when you got a, a saturated color, you can add another one. Okay? I mean, not necessarily. That's why I added this red here. Okay? It's... A, a saturated red, I don't mean like uh, adding pure, pure red. I could do it, but I don't, I, I, I didn't mean that. I mean uh, a saturated color, and but it could be darker. In this case is darker. Okay, now, uh, I'm just going to do my eyes, how much light I add to the lip. I kind of like it like that, but how much, how much contrast I want here. How much softness is working here, because when I make this soft, kind of lost and sacrificing the tears but how much of this is working? That's, the, that's what I'm thinking now I should add more more tears paint more tears that's okay many questions and not answers you're not gonna find the answers here you're gonna find them on my patreon account I just came just came okay 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 I've been painting almost for two hours. Do you think that the face should be a little bit narrower? Now we tend to paint uh, portraits, and we tend when we tend to, when we tend to paint the face wider. Any face that we paint, you know, it's just normal. I don't know why that happens the same way we paint eyes a little bit bigger okay. 
the same way when we paint a trick or review like this one we tend to make this side of the face the narrower side a little bit wider okay. that happens I have seen that so many times all my paintings on you know my patrons paintings you know it's just There's kind of no way to avoid making some mistakes. We gotta just keep an eye on those things. We know that maybe when I make a mistake, we know where, we don't know when, but I try to keep an eye and then we check out those areas. And as I continue painting, I continue checking and checking. Right now, I'm gonna make this side a little bit narrower, just in case, just a one millimeter What do you think is a good time to, to stop before adding more and more details? Forehead is a bit flat. I'm missing a shadow here. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm almost done. Okay, let me, let me step back. Okay. Or oh, maybe I should knock down this green. You know, bright, 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 bright. What about if I knock down this one? It's too close to the face. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see, let's do it. Let's see if that works. If not, I'm gonna paint this back again, just like that, just uh, just that. Mm. 
Yeah, I think that's good. You know, it kind of that was glowing too much. Now this area is receding, and this is coming forward more. You know, like nothing is competing here. This is different, and this is different. Yeah, yeah, I think that works. I didn't see that. You know, I just saw it. Uh, 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 step back a bit. I saw that. Okay. Oh, Mark Anderson, don't do any more details with this painting. <laughs> oh, Darren Gould is saying ears. Yeah, yeah, I didn't paint the ear. I did, it, I did it in purpose. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you, Nikki. Oh, I mean, there are, there are two Nikki's here. Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. <laughs> okay. Good night, Fabiola. Thank you, Emily. Okay, I think I think I'm, done. I'm almost done. Yeah. Let me see. Maybe just making this green a little bit thinner here. Keep it just sharp there. Bit of green here. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm done. You know, I'm hungry. Let's go to it. Touch of green, touch of green. Okay, I'm going to zoom in. To see some details about color. When I see the painting like that, pretty close, you know, I see this green there. It's not, you know, I don't see the greenish here. Maybe if I get really close, but I don't see the greenish. Maybe it is like that. The thing is that from a distance you're gonna see those some softness on the colors. What I mean is you shouldn't see those bright colors on the face. If you see those bright colors like green, pink on your portrait, knock them down, you know. Just uh maybe uh, just blend a little bit more the paint already there on that area. Okay, and yeah, oh, add more paint on top. Okay.
Okay, I think I'm done. I'm gonna check out again. I like it. Yeah, I like it. I would love, obviously, always paint more and more. But when I want some softness on the painting, you know, I gotta for, force myself to stop. I know the more I paint, the more details I add. And I don't want details just to kill the softness on the painting. Okay, let's check out something more here and there. No, it looks like everything is okay. Maybe one a little bit darker value here. Yeah. Just to make the eye look more rounded. Yeah. A little bit of darker mid tone here. Okay. Mm, yeah, I think that's it. So glad you that you all are here. Okay, thank you so much, everybody. Okay, thank you so much for the comments. And you know, I go uh, live once a week. Okay, and do you like it? Yeah. Please subscribe to my channel. And yeah, see you next week. Yeah. Oh, still be saying, what do you do to protect pastel painting without to use the fixative? Do you use any glassine paper? Yeah, yeah, any thin paper. That was gonna be pretty good, pretty good to protect the, the pastel. Yeah. I don't use any fixative, uh, I just uh, put one on top of the other. But frame frame the, the, the pastel, that's gonna be something, I think that's gonna be the best option. Frame it, but when you frame it, be sure that the glass doesn't, do, doesn't touch the paper. It's kind of separated, but just something like that. That's gonna be the best way to protect it. And by the way, speaking about pastel, yeah, I'm planning to maybe add one more day to my live streams because it's been like a long time since since I painted a pastel portrait. And I want it, I wanna do it. I wanna pick up my pastels again. Okay, thank you so much everybody don't forget to press the thumbs up before you go okay okay bye everybody and don't forget to visit my patreon account you know we can you can join you can you can join free for a try you don't know, uh, got a free trial for a week on so many of my tears. As I'm saying bye, I'm just <laughs> you know checking here again and again if I if I gotta fix something before I go. Okay, bye everybody.
See you all next week. Mm-hmm.